one as well today. Alrighty, here we go, lesson 304. Let my world, let not my world obscure the sight of Christ. I can obscure my holy sight if I intrude my world upon it. Nor can I behold the holy sights Christ looks upon unless it is his vision that I use. Perception is a mirror, not a fact. And what I look on is my state of mind reflected outward. I would bless the world by looking on it through the eyes of Christ. And I will look upon the certain sights that all my sins have been forgiven me. Here's the prayer. You lead me from the darkness to the light, from sin to holiness. Let me forgive and thus receive salvation for the world. It is your gift, my Father, given to me to offer your Holy Son, that he may find again the memory of you and of your Son as you created him. Lesson 304, let not my world obscure the sight of Christ. There's this beautiful prayer mantra that you chant over and over, and it says, Om Asatoma Sutgamaya, Tamasoma Chotir Gamaya, Mrichorma Omritam Gamaya. And it's about, like, lead me from uh, the darkness to the light, from sin to holiness, from, you know, the unreal to the real. And you repeat it over and over. Um, David Primal does a gorgeous job of chanting it. Um, anyway, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful prayer. Um, anyway, I love chanting. I love kirtan. Really, really gorgeous. Um, it reminds me of that. Okay, so let's bring let's bring Magdalene through and see what generous words she has for us today. Greetings, beloved ones. Beloveds, when you look towards peace, you find peace. When you look towards pain, you find pain. When your endeavor, when your commitment, when your choice, when your consciousness looks for anything, it finds. You are the ultimate finder of all it is that you seek. When you allow yourself to step into the realm of knowing the truth, when you allow yourself to have the sight of Christ, when you allow yourself to live within the truth of love, everything within your environment, everything within your word and your, within your world becomes the very essence of that which is God, of that which is holy and of that which is divine. When you ask to be led back to the truth, when you say, show me a world without sin, show me a world of light without darkness, show me a world of love without fear, it is given to you. It is very, very easily granted unto you. And you must ask, beloveds. It is the background that has always been there. It is the default setting for yourself as a human being yourself as any of the various and sundry beings that you have chosen to incarnate as, the different dimensions, the different universes, the different creatures that you have chosen to be. The default setting is love. And some of you have just gone so far away from love. You have forgotten. All it takes, beloved, is a, is a, is a, a moment, a modicum of willingness to remember and to know the mechanism to unlock the heart and to once again feel gratitude is to feel forgiveness. And forgiveness is, as has been said, 
countless times, the greatest gift that you can give to yourself and to others. So when you come upon a situation where indeed you feel fearful, beloveds, know that there is something that you must forgive, something within you that has said, this is not the way that it should be. I do not like the time this is happening, the place this is happening, the methodology in which this is occurring. This should be different than the way that it is. I do not like how this is. When you can forgive all of that, beloveds, when you can allow yourself to say, what is the most important here is the truth, and you bring forth the truth, miracles occur. Love is indeed a function of communication. But who you are ultimately communicating with yourself is yourself, beloveds. You are saying to yourself, maybe I have not always seen the truth in this certain situation or in this certain circumstance. And when you allow yourself to see the truth and to know the truth and to feel the truth, suddenly you have the sight of Christ, the vision of Christ, and everything becomes so clear. You are able to look at something and say, I always thought that that was an issue. It is not. And you will begin to vanish the situations and the circumstances. You will make your cancer and your heart disease and your lung disease and your Alzheimer's and dementia and your diabetes and your high blood pressure. All of this will regulate. It is taking yourself out of a toxic environment, beloveds, and putting yourself into what could be considered alkaline thinking. You go from an acidic environment to an alkaline thinking environment, you go from a toxic environment into a loving and nurturing environment. And that occurs, beloveds, when you allow yourself to come into the truth of you as a Christed being. You have so many reasons, you have so many circumstances, and you have so many excuses and so much evidence that you have mounted about why you are anything other than a Christed being. But beloveds, know that this is not the truth of you. The truth of you is the exact opposite. The truth of you is the purity and the love and the desire and the friendship and the kindness that is the very inherent nature of you. Be willing to be shown the purity. Be willing to see the Christ within. Many of you do not want to see this for you cannot believe that you yourself are worthy of this, that you yourself are capable of this, that this is the truth of you. You want to focus upon your sin rather than your holiness. You want to focus on what is wrong rather than what is not wrong. And what is not wrong is your perfection. You want to believe that there is something wrong and that you must continually perpetuate these cycles of healing. But beloved, there comes a moment when it gets very, very quiet and you come to recognize and you come to see that there is only the light and you are done dancing and playing in the shadows. You are done allowing yourself to be distracted by anything other than the love that you feel for yourself and the love that you feel for your pets and the love that you feel for God and the love that you feel for nature and the love that you feel for your friends and the love that you feel for your family. But most importantly, it is the love that you feel for yourself. And you come to say, I am without sin. I am happiness. I am the purity of God's desire to be breathed into life. And you're willing to forego and you're willing to give up and you're willing to let go of the need that you have had to sacrifice yourself. And you allow life to become easy. And you allow it to become pleasurable and you allow it to become fun. This is all within your capability, beloved one. You need only forgive yourself for all the suffering that you put yourself through. And in that forgiveness, you are granted once again salvation, salvation that you have granted unto yourself. And you are returned to the state of the Christ of being that you are. And it is good. And it is beautiful. And you are beautiful. 
So know that you go with my love. Know that you go with my deepest desire for pleasure and for happiness for you, beloved. Hmm. World without end. So blessings to you. And I will indeed speak with you again. You are so welcome. Happy Halloween, everybody. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow.